Hi friends, for today's small group, we're gonna do a fun activity where we draw a monster. So you need something to draw on. If you have a whiteboard that erases, that's perfect. If not, just paper and a pencil will work because we're gonna erase some things too, okay? All right, so here we go. Um, when you draw a monster, it is said you always begin with his head. So you draw a big monster head. Head and said were our learning words. He'll be able to see when he flies if we draw two bright eyes. Two eyes on our monster. Eyes and flies are our rhyming words. To tell which way the cold wind blows, our monster will need a great big nose. Draw a great big nose on our monster. See, there's his big nose. Nose and blows are the rhyming words. Look to the north and look to the south. We can give our monster a mouth. A mouth. There's his big mouth. Mouth and south are our rhyming words. Some up above and some beneath. Our monster has lots of teeth. Teeth. So let's put some teeth inside of that mouth. Teeth. So teeth and beneath were our rhyming words. Now under his chin, let's just check. That's where we should put his neck. So let's put a neck right here. That's what holds up the head. There's his neck. All right. Neck and check were our rummy words. So he won't be tipsy toddy. Let's give him a polka dot body. A polka dot body. So let's draw his big body. And if it's polka dots, it has polka dots all over it. There's his polka dot body. There we go. Body and toddy were the rhyming words. If he really, really, really begs, I guess we could give him legs. So that's up to you how many legs you want your monster to have. So I'm going to put two legs on my monster, but you could put three legs or four, however many legs you want. To make our monster nice and neat, we'll have to teach him to wipe his feet. So let's see, put some feet down here at the bottom of these big old legs. There's his feet, feet and neat. A notice sent by air mail. We can't forget the monster's tail. Oh, let's put his tail over here. There's his tail. I'm going to put stripes on my monster's tail. Tail and mail. And he isn't fierce. He isn't hairy. But don't you think he's a little scary? So what do you think of my monster? Is he a little scary? Maybe a little bit. Okay, so once you've drawn your whole monster, now it's time to erase the words that rhyme. Okay, so I'm going to give you an example. We'll start at the bottom. Which one rhymes with male? Erase his, yes, you're right, tail. Male and tail rhyme. Good job. Uh, what rhymes with neat? Mm, what body part? Feet. So you gotta erase his feet, because feet and neat were rhyming words. What rhymes with begs? Erase his legs, begs and legs. So we gotta erase his legs. Good job. Body, oh, toddy and, I almost said it already, body. Yes, erase his polka dot body. Toddy and body are rhyming words. Let's just check. What rhymes with check? His neck. Oh my gosh, my monster's disappearing. Oh no. Um, beneath and teeth. We gotta erase those teeth. The teeth that are inside of his mouth. Yep. And south and mouth. So now we erase the whole mouth on the outside. Good job. 
no, um, blows and nose. Erase that big old nose. Oh my gosh. When we have two body parts left on our monster, we're almost to the end. Flies and eyes. Yes. Goes his big eyes. And the very last body part, rhymes with said, is his big head. Good job. Okay. So you can do your monster over again if you would like, or before you erase it, take a picture of your cool monster and send it to me on Dojo so I can see that you did your draw a rhyme with the monster. Okay? I can't wait to see everyone's monsters, and I will see you next time. Bye.